Hello little kiddos. How are you today? I am Sandhya Sisodia back with bedtime stories. What is the name of today's story? Let's see. Don't trust blindly. There lived a poor brahmin in a small village. One day the village headman gave him a coat. The brahmin was very happy to get it. He placed it on his shoulders and prepared to return home. Three cheaters were standing nearby and followed the incident very carefully. The first cheater said, What will the brahmin do with, his, with the goat? He is such a fool. The second cheater replied, if only we could manage to get hold of that coat, it would then be a very nice picnic in this weather. The third one said, Oh, I can't wait anymore. I am already feeling very hungry. They placed themselves in three different positions on the road from where the Brahmin was about to pass. The Brahmin was walking down the road unaware of any impending danger. The first trickster obstructed his path and said, What happened to you, Brahmin? Why are you carrying a dog on your shoulders? The Brahmin became very angry and replied, You fool, what you are talking about? Don't you know a Brahmin cannot carry a dog? Are you blind? Can't you see it is a goat? Without caring much about what the trickster said, the Brahmin resumed his walk. After some time, he met another trickster. The second trickster said, Oh Brahmin, accept my apologies. But why are you carrying a dead calf on your shoulders? The Brahmin replied angrily, Can't you see the difference between a calf and a goat, the dead and the living? The second trickster replied, If you believe a calf to be a goat, then what can I do? The Brahmin resumed his journey, but now he became skeptical about his own thoughts. He thought, Maybe I made a mistake. A calf and a full-grown goat are of the same size. However, he continued to move towards his home. Now the third trickster appeared in front of him. He said, Hey Brahmin, why are you carrying a baby donkey on your back? What will people think of you? The Brahmin thought, What am I really carrying on my shoulders? Three people defined it in three different ways. The headman might have made a mistake. Or is it a ghost? He then left the goat on the road and marched quickly towards his home. The tricksters happily grabbed the goat. So, what is the moral of the story? The moral of the story is, believe whatever you see with your own eyes rather than relying on someone else's statement. Hope you like the story. I will be back with a new story. Until then, bye-bye. If you love the story, like, share and subscribe. Wait, don't forget to hit the bell icon. So you will get the notification of new videos. Good night, sweet dreams.